Hello everybody, it's Molly with Out of the Barn Crochet Creations. Today we have a yarn haul. This is from Joanne. This came in probably five or six pieces. Like there was um bags and then there were um an there was another box and uh this is a size box I've compacted it to because I could have done that. Um I've already given some of the skeins to this one who's walking behind me right now because she would like to use them as well. But um I'm gonna show you the rest of what I have and um hope you enjoy. So I'm a crochet artist. I make amigurumi, like this little duck right here. I um I do some other things, but mostly it's amigurumi. I have a little farm so you'll see my animals from time to time. I can spin, I can um, knit kind of, I can knit straight panels. So I can make scarves, guys, I can make scarves. So this is a mainly predominantly a crochet channel. Anyway, let's get to the box opening. We're doing a yarn unboxing. Um, it did combine the packages because it came in like five packages and I'm still chaotic and learning to make sure my address doesn't go anywhere. So I've com converged it to one box, which they did not do, but they didn't. So here we are. Um, this is big, this is from Joanne and it's Big Twist um, Living and it is in some pride colors. Pride flag collars. And then I have um, some whites in the same yarn so that I got the same consistency in case I wanted to complement some of these colors. So I have three things of white, three things of black that is still a big twist living. And then we have, and I'm not good with the flags, I don't know all of them. I think this is the trans flag. I think that's what that is. Um, I'm not going to guess on the ones I don't know. Um, here's one that's kind of pretty. I like the colors. Like that one. And then, of course, the rainbow. It's coming apart. The rainbow in. Oh my gosh. I'm really bad at this, guys. There we go. Nice. Uh, I'm going to do some testing on this to see how well it works up, how it crochets, how it feels. So that's something to look forward to. But this is uh, in rainbow. And we have this pretty color. This one, they call it Serenity. I, I'm sorry, I didn't look at the other colors. This is Serenity. There's two of them. My daughter stole the third. We have, this one's called Confidence. And it's upside down. But pretty. It's two of those. And then the last color I have is Sprite. These are nice and pretty colors. And there's two of them. And then this one, the one that I just said was pretty, didn't bother to find the color. It's called Community. I like that color. And then uh, this one is called Life really pretty. So, kind of short, not a whole lot of um, excitement. I, so I wanted to show you the yarn and uh, we'll see what we can make with it. Hi everybody, it's Molly with Out of the Barn Crochet Creations. Today, as I promised, I will be reviewing Big Twist Living Yarn. Um, right now I'm working with Rainbow. It is made by where is it made by big twist um which is available at joann's so this was online at joann's um it's 199 yards or 3.85 ounces it and if 
you don't do yards in ounces, 182 meters and 110 grams. So they recommend a 4.5 millimeter hook or 4.5 to 5 millimeter knitting needles. It's a size for medium weight yarn and it's worsted or um, medium weight yarn and it's acrylic, 100% acrylic um, and it's made in Turkey. So this is rainbow. It's supposed to be referencing um, pride colors and this is the one I'm the most comfortable speaking about. I am iffy about talking about it in reference to the prize lag. Um, it's a rainbow. Rainbows are fine. Um, so the one thing I watched, I learned about this a while back is it doesn't start on red, which is the pride flag first color. So it does indeed start on orange. And then the next thing I noticed is the collar changes back. So I started in the center and it's orange and then it goes into yellow and then it goes back into orange for like a whole half of a row before it changes back to yellow. And there's some green in this yellow. Can't really see it on the camera, but like drips of green and orange in the yellow. So, I mean, referencing the pride flag it's not trying to be the pride flag so is this the, color, the name of the color inclusivity is actually the name of the color it's a rainbow color it's called inclusivity that's the color name so yeah um so I'm working with it and I'm using a 3.75 millimeter hook, which is smaller than the recommended, but of course as acrylic as a amigurumi artist, we know that this is indeed the standard. You have to go smaller than the recommended hook size because the yarn, well, it's it needs to not have holes. And what I'm finding is it is indeed a medium yarn and that I can kind of still see light through it, through this. <laughs> Spill it out, Lonnie. Um, it's not a huge deal. It's not super noticeable, but I think if I were to pull this back out and restart, I would go down a size to maybe a 3.5 or even a 3.25, or if I have to, a 2.75. But that's going to make a really small amigurumi and we're all already working with thin yarn so I don't know that I want to do that. Um, I am making a zombie cat. Let me get you the name of the artist. You probably know if you know this pattern at all you know who I'm talking about. Um, but it is the tiny zombie kitty by Crochet T and B. So um, I tried to tag her in my first one and on Instagram, and I guess I accidentally tagged her best friend, who has a very similar name, and it was okay. It was it was just fine. I guess it happens a lot. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna go by what the pattern says, T and B, and uh, yeah, it's a great pattern. Um, I loved um, making the first one, and it was after coming off of the Baphomet that I did not love making. Um, the pattern wasn't, like, unusable. It was just the Baphomet pattern was a pain in my butt. I hated the fact that it said, oh, add a single crochet at every at the end of every stitch. Like, include or at the end of every row. I can't talk. Um that was frustrating but this pattern this was like a breath of fresh air after that so with that in mind i love this pattern sorry my adhd is everywhere right now um love this pattern 
Flocon Crochet TNB is her Facebook page. Her Instagram is Tanflower Con Crochet underscore TB. Um, great pattern. Great pattern, great pattern. So, anyway, the yarn, which is what we're here talking about right now, um, it seems really thin, like, for for what I would expect. Maybe I'm supposed to be using a smaller book with medium weight. I don't use it a ton, so my knowledge base on this could be the limiting factor here. I'm going to go ahead and keep crocheting with this and continuing the pattern, which I cannot recite for you or anything. But I will continue to work this up and see how it goes. I also plan on testing it this way. And then, if I don't love it this way, I might, I might pull this out to the first red cut, start it from red, and then use the yarn that I cut as limbs for the cat um, and ears and limbs. <laughs> um, that might be something I do because this just, it looks kind of messy right now it's a very small cat I'm going to have trouble selling this at this size I mean I'm not going to have trouble I'm going to have trouble selling it for what it's worth at this size yeah I'm having some thoughts on this that maybe I need to choose a different pattern as much as I really want to make this cat um <sighs> decisions, decisions. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and work up this head of the cat and just see what happens. See what I think about it at the end of it, and I will get back to you. You ready? I could go with a bigger pattern. One of her bigger patterns. I just don't know if I'm feeling it. This might not be the pattern for the yarn. The pattern's fine. The yarn is messier than I like. It makes it look very messy with this small of a pattern. This would be the body. The head would be larger. So maybe it wouldn't matter. But it's just so small. The head is significantly larger. But um I don't know. I don't know what to do. Do I keep going? Do I frog it and try to crochet something else with it? I don't know what else to crochet with it. We'll see. We'll see. a messy color change. I don't really love messy color changes. I don't mind like fading, but this is like, this is like, uh, please hold. This is like going from one color, it's like going from one color all the way into another for several stitches and then changing back. Don't love it. A larger pattern. It might be less noticeable. Maybe I won't even notice it once I get to the head as much. I need to make a decision. That's what I need to do. That's what I need to do. Because I can sit here and just stay in um, indecision forever. So I will get back to you in a second to show you what I did. Hey, everybody. I finished it. So 
do you think? I kind of love it. I kind of don't want to let it go, but I'm going to. Um, do the little fish on his belly. He even has an X on the eye. So this is this is um made with the Big Twist Living Collection yarn. Here we are. We used less than a half a skein for the tiny uh, zombie cat kitty. And um this was this was a this was a pat uh this was a yarn was a this is a yarn review for uh Big Twist Living. And um so you can see the colors and how they um they definitely look better on larger pieces, so I think it looks better on the head than it does the body. Um the yarn is very thin. Even for a three point seven five, which is what I used, I can still see some stuffing through that. And uh that's not my typical standard, so I'm not sure why the yarn is nice. It's just it's really thin. I think I should even go lower to make sure that the the stuffing's not visible. You can kind of see it right here. Um, but here's the pick the back side of it. You can see it's pick the words. You can see the color. So I like the rainbow. I don't like that it immediately goes back to blue and then except I don't remember where I where I cut and didn't. So up here you see the yellow starts and then stops again and goes to orange before it transitions. I wish it was more of a clean change. But it looks fine. I like this um no this way. This I actually I used a piece of uh yarn that was changing from red to orange. So there's a color change in the middle of that. I thought that was kinda neat. Um it it worked up fine. I think I definitely need a smaller hook to do imagurumi with this yarn. Which is unfortunate because it makes a smaller piece. Um, but other than that, it works out fine. I have no qualms about it. I have nothing bad to say about it. It's very pretty. Made a cute zombie cat. I'll have a link in the pattern. Or I'll have a link in the description for the pattern in case you want to make your own. She's pretty. Um, pretty much known in some circles. I just I'm not good with names. But I have this zombie cat done with this yarn. I like it. Um I'm not sure if I'm gonna make another one in this with this pattern. I don't have a good idea of what I'm gonna make with this yarn unfortunately. Because it does color change fairly slowly. So small projects get a lot of the same color, like on the body, you can see there's a lot of green right here, um, and then it transitions to blue, and then goes green again, and back to blue. So most of the body is a dark color. Um, all these are sewn on, so you can't really compare the... I don't know. I'm not sure. If you have any ideas what I should make with this, um, I showed you the yarn haul. I showed you in the yarn haul the uh, colors I had for this. So yeah, that's all I gotta say. I I like the yarn. It's definitely. I don't know if amigurumi is its strongest point. Um, it's not a bad yarn. There's nothing bad to say about it. I just I'm not sure. I might try a smaller hook and try again. And there's a lot of yarn for this. Like it worked it worked really nicely. It's almost two hundred yards. It's pretty good for 
scan like this. But, um, there's nothing wrong with it. I wish that the colors didn't run into each other so much, but other than that, I have nothing bad to say about it. I like the yarn. I don't know if Amigurumi is a strong point, but it could be used for other things. It's really nice. So, there's your yarn review for Big Twist uh, Living. It's, um, I, I definitely think you should go try it if you like these colors and you like, um, you think it'll be a good acrylic yarn for you. It's anti-pilling, so it, it's pretty good. It works. Yeah. Okay, everybody, it's Molly from the future. Um, don't mind my absolutely raving review of the, uh, big twist living yarn so I did kind of give it a half-hearted review a half-hearted positive review I had nothing terribly bad to say about it but it wasn't like inspiring to go out and get it um I've been making something else with this this is the different uh this is a different color um but it's called authentic I have to close on it. Um, it's stuffing. Um, but it's inauthentic. And honestly, these stitches are better. I used a smaller hook. I used a 3.5 or 3.0. Yeah. No. Did I use a 2.75? Is that why it works so well? Please hold. Yeah, I used a 2.75. That's why it worked. Okay, anyway, let's take a look at these stitches. There are no holes. There are no spots. Even my decreases feel really tensioned correctly, and it's good. Okay, so just use a really small hook, guys. <laughs> I had to use a 2.75 hook. It's, um, it takes a little bit, but it looks good. It looks, um back up to my my preferred standard of stitching um the yarn's fine use a really small hook um it'll work up just fine so yes definitely try this yarn if you want to if you like the colors if you like the pride colors if you like thin acrylic yarn um this is going to be a bat Hopefully, if I finish it, we'll see. Um, yeah. So, go try the yarn if you want. It's okay. It's good yarn. There's nothing wrong with it. It doesn't, it doesn't, uh, it's anti-pilling. It doesn't pill. Pill? It, it doesn't, um, fall apart. Or, pill. <laughs> Anyway, we are done with this tutorial, or with, okay, so we are done with this review and yarn haul way back in the previous parts of the video, uh, and I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it brought you some sort of um, insight to this yarn, maybe. If you were on the fence about trying it, you should try it. Just be prepared for the acrylic experience with um, the yarn and tension and small hooks. So, but yeah, it's a it's a user error there, not me, uh, not the yarn, me, not the yarn. So yeah, you should try it out. I'm not sponsored. I wish I was sponsored by Joanne, but I'm not. That might be nice. Anyway, not sponsored. Just excited about the yarn and the uh, way it works up. So go try it out if you want to. And I hope you like this video. If you want to see more of my content, go ahead and like and subscribe below. And uh, I will see you later. 
Thank you for being here. And thank you for all the new subscribers that have joined. Thank you again for flooding my channel with love and kindness and subscribing and following and commenting. I've read all of them. I've replied to most of them. I really appreciate everybody. And I'm glad you're here. I hope you enjoy it. Um, yeah, just thank you so much for being here, and, um, I hope you stay, stick around. I hope you stick around. Bye.